Now we are joined by our special guest from the Victorian Liberal Party, Beverly MacArthur, who, in addition to being the member for Western Victoria Region, also sits on the Public Accounts and Estimates Committee. Beverly, welcome to The Spectator TV Australia. Thank you, Alexandra. Great pleasure to be with you. Beverly, first of all, I would like to offer my sympathies for you as you are being held under the reign of Daniel Andrews. Uh, yes, we're in the state of Dunestan here and it's not good. No, but look, you have written a excellent piece for our spectator called Victorians Go Hungry, Andrews Gets Bigger Billboards and it was regarding the state of Victoria's budget. In it, you write, and I quote, spending other people's money is central to his political way. He celebrates it, champions it, claps it all the way to the ballot box and now all the way to Canberra for a bailout, end quote. Beverly, has the Premier finally run out of other people's money or has this budget found a way to raid even more private cash? Oh, no. Uh, he's found a way to raise more cash and he's going to fleece property owners and employers. We're going to increase payroll tax and we're going to tax investors and commercial properties. Is this something that the people of Victoria should be worried about? Well, they absolutely should be worried, Alexandra, because every day they're paying $22 million in interest payments on this debt. Imagine what $22 million that have fixed just a few of my potholes out in uh, my electorate, which have become craters, they're so big. Um, it would uh, provide a, a need, well-needed boost to the health sector, but we're cutting health expenditure again. Uh, so it's extraordinary. The debt level, which is greater than several states put together, and our taxes are 45 new taxes. Uh, or increased taxes in this state is just incredible. So um, I'm sure the people of Victoria will soon wake up to what's happening in this state. Well, you had a very good comment, which I'll read now for the viewers. You said, the truth is, whatever Labor says, Victorians will pay, whether it's big business or small business, mum and dad investors, wage earners or consumers, we are all paying for their mistakes. And by that, you mean particularly for Labor's mistakes. Now, has Labor's budget promised some difficult years ahead for the Victorian people? Because I saw things like a COVID tax, which doesn't sound great for Victorians. Well, that, it certainly is making it very difficult for Victorians. We know that the cost of living is, is rising and uh, with all these extra taxes and charges, it's going to make putting bread on the table, turning the lights on will even become a problem soon with the increase in power bills here. And we have no plan uh, except uh, rolling out more renewable projects uh, without any baseload power to keep the lights on. Well, Australia, uh, Daniel Andrews, he went to the election in Victoria promising that he was going to make some cuts to pay for all of his expenditure. And instead, according to your recent press statement, the government is building a 59,000 strong bureaucracy in a Lazarus recreation of the SEC. Is this behaviour from the Premier sustainable? Well, he's been getting away with it for quite some time, Alexandra. I hope uh, in the next election people will wake up. But yes, you know, there was this talk of 5,000 cuts to the public service uh, uh, sector, but 59,000 increased jobs as we return the SEC to government ownership. Now, look, these people in my electorate can't run a lavatory block at the 12 Apostles tourist site. So running a whole energy operation uh, will be way beyond them. No project here is on time or on budget. So this will be a disaster. And what's more, it takes away the workforce from the private sector who are struggling to find workers to complete uh, projects and tasks which the private sector can do very well. Uh, so this is an extraordinary um, announcement that we're going to privatise uh, the SEC. Well, speaking of unsustainable ideas... And not privatise it, sorry, nationalise it. Yeah, no, 